If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell icon to get the latest updates. Hi, welcome to Zarin Tech on SAP BTP Cloud Foundry vs Kubernetes. Which one to choose? Disclaimer. In this video, we will be covering Overview. How is infrastructure as a service different from platform as a service? Cloud Foundry vs Kubernetes, similarities and differences. Effortless services available on the marketplace. Freedom to run the platform anywhere. Enterprise Cloud Foundry offerings. Cloud Foundry. Cloud Foundry is an open source platform as a service PaaS, solution that simplifies the deployment and management of applications. It provides a high level abstraction, allowing developers to focus on writing code rather than managing infrastructure. Cloud Foundry abstracts away the underlying infrastructure, making it easier to deploy applications across different cloud providers or on-premises environments. Kubernetes. Kubernetes, often abbreviated as K8s, is an open source container orchestration platform that automates the deployment, scaling, and management of containerized applications. It focuses on providing a flexible and scalable infrastructure for running container workloads. Differences between ILS and PodS. Level of abstraction. ILS offers virtualized infrastructure resources, while PodS provides a higher level of abstraction with a complete application development and deployment platform. User responsibility. With iOS, users have more control and responsibility for managing the operating systems, applications, and data. In PaaS, the service provider takes care of managing the underlying infrastructure, and users focus on developing and deploying applications. Development vs. Infrastructure focus. iOS primarily caters to infrastructure needs, while PaaS focuses on providing a development and deployment platform for applications. Flexibility. iOS offers more flexibility in terms of customizing the infrastructure stack. PaaS, on the other hand, provides a standardized platform with limited customization options. Skill requirements. iOS requires more technical expertise to manage the infrastructure components. PaaS abstracts away many infrastructure complexities, making it more accessible to developers with less infrastructure knowledge. Cloud Foundry and Kubernetes are both popular open source platforms used for deploying and managing applications in a cloud environment. While they share some similarities, they have distinct characteristics and target different use cases. Similarities Container orchestration Both Cloud Foundry and Kubernetes are capable of managing containerized applications. They provide container orchestration capabilities, allowing users to deploy, scale, and manage applications efficiently. Open source, both platforms are open source and have large and active communities supporting their development and improvement. This means that users can benefit from community-driven enhancements, bug fixes, and ongoing support. Scalability, both Cloud Foundry and Kubernetes enable horizontal scaling, allowing applications to be easily scaled up or down based on demand. They provide mechanisms for automatic scaling, ensuring efficient resource utilization. Differences. Abstraction level, Cloud Foundry is considered a higher level platform that provides a more opinionated approach to application deployment. It abstracts away many of the complexities associated with managing containers and infrastructure, providing a simpler developer experience. Kubernetes, on the other hand, is a lower level platform that offers more flexibility and control over container orchestration. Application focus, Cloud Foundry primarily focuses on simplifying the deployment and management of applications. It offers features such as built-in service discovery, application lifecycle management, and automated scaling. Operator VS. Developer Perspective. Cloud Foundry targets developers and aims to provide an easy-to-use experience with application-centric abstractions. It offers a platform-as-a-service PaaS, model where developers can focus on writing code without worrying about the underlying infrastructure. Ecosystem and tooling. Kubernetes has a larger ecosystem and a wider range of tools and integrations available. It has become the de facto standard for container orchestration and is supported by major cloud providers and numerous third-party tools. 
Cloud Foundry abstraction also covers what's called the services, which is a concept missing in Kubernetes. The services are integrated with Cloud Foundry by utilizing an ABI known as the Service Broker API, with the Cloud Controller acting as the client. The service component that utilizes the Service Broker API is referred to as the Service Broker. Service instance credentials can be provisioned in Cloud Foundry to facilitate interaction with a service instance. These credentials can be delivered to your Cloud Foundry app using app binding. For external and local clients, service keys can be generated to establish direct communication with a service instance. App binding allows the delivery of service instance credentials to applications running on Cloud Foundry through an environment variable. For further details, please refer to the relevant documentation. Kubernetes might be burdensome to run on your infrastructure. Cloud Foundry is made to host workloads on any equipment, whether it's on-premise, a public cloud, a bunch of playing VM. One of the most popular commercial offerings is VM, where Tanzu formerly Pivotal Cloud Foundry, which is also available on the most popular public cloud platforms like Azure. Cloud Foundry and Kubernetes are both popular open source platforms used for deploying and managing applications in a cloud environment. While they share some similarities, they have distinct characteristics and target different use cases. Cloud Foundry and Kubernetes are both popular open source platforms used for deploying and managing applications in a cloud environment. While they share some similarities, they have distinct characteristics and target different use cases. Thank you and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos. Thank you for attending the session. I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also feel free to ask your questions in the comment section below and we will reply to them at the earliest.